It's been six weeks since the tornadoes hit our neighborhoods. Piles of debris like this are still riddled across our streets and volunteer organizations continue to try to help pick up the pieces. We want to make sure that everybody can get the help that they need. And so the more people we have, the quicker that work gets done. I'm neighborhood reporter Kenya Cardone in Northwest Tallahassee, and I'm speaking with the folks from Samaritan's Purse about why volunteers are needed now more than ever. Samaritan's Purse hard at work. One of many volunteer organizations that has stepped in to help the community recover from tornado destruction. Right now we sit at over 800 uh, work orders uh, as a total. Almost two months since the tornadoes hit and they're still here with more than 200 work orders left to go. Overnight volunteers are great to have from, from all over, but we also uh, rely on those local volunteers as well. Something program manager Aaron Richards tells me the group is in desperate need of. Right now they only have about 35 volunteers a day, most of which come from out of state. There's still a lot of people here in, their in the community of Tallahassee that are looking for, for help and uh, there's only so many of us here to, to offer that. So the more people locally here that could get involved, the better. I spoke with Gary Parker, an upstate New Yorker who has been with Samaritan's Purse for the past two years. I asked him what inspires him to volunteer. Trying to be a blessing to others, we oftentimes find ourselves more blessed just by the homeowners that we're serving. Speaking of homeowners, uh, people talk about hurricanes, but tornadoes are pretty quick and they're gone. And then people just sort of wonder what's next. Kevin Smith, one of many neighbors who sustained massive damage to his home and one of many who received a helping hand from Samaritan's Purse. It means a lot having, um, you know, knowing that there are people out there who are willing to do this kind of work and not, um, you know, they're not charging you for it. I mean, they're putting all their blood, sweat and tears into it. On a mission to complete their work orders before their leave date in August, Samaritan's Purse is now calling on neighbors for help. We bring all the equipment, bring all the trucks, provide everything that they need, um, but those tools are just sitting there waiting for somebody to pick them up. Take a look at the information on your screen. You can use that website or phone number to get involved with Samaritan's Purse, and I'll also have all this information for you linked on my web story at WTXL.TV. In Northwest Tallahassee, Kenya Cardone, ABC 27.